Our first frame was at zero seconds into the simulation. This is the relative position of where everything was. We get our Doppler calculation produces a plot of the Doppler versus time. We can see interactions with guardrails, the truck and the car over here in the distance. When we do the Doppler processing, we pick up the scattering plot. Uh, the range Doppler plot here shows over here is the truck. And then at the moment, the car is stationary. And this is most likely the scattering coming back from the vehicle at the intersection. As the radar advances, the truck is getting closer. And of course, we see some of those guardrails are, are approaching and then passing and shifting down in Doppler as they pass. The truck is now again getting closer. Its return is stronger. And we still have the car stopped over here at the stop sign, although it's partly obscured by the passing truck. Now the car starts to move out and we're getting a little bit of, of a relative velocity here based on this angle as the car is driving. <clears throat> but primarily it's, its velocity out in front is at about uh, 15 meters per second here, the speed of our radar. And our truck again is, is passing by here, it's much closer. And now we see the car out in front, again getting our 15 meter per second velocity. And now as the car has passed, it's now getting a, a negative velocity because now relative to the radar, it's moving away. <clears throat> 